Yes, and let me know what you are learning. Therefore, what we are going to learn, if you practice it, take a picture of it. Send it to my Facebook page, Max Fashion Line or Ajoa Aka. Send it there into as a message. I will look at it. If there are mistakes, we'll correct it and do this together. Let's do this together and you will love it. Within three, four months, six months maximum, you will be able to do something. Today we are going to learn basic body pattern. How to cut basic body pattern. Which basic body pattern helps you in cutting your, your top dress or even if you want to cut a straight dress. This basic body pattern is what you need. If you know it, you can incorporate it anywhere in your sewing and you'll be able to cut what you need. And so we have our caps here, our ruler, our tape measure, our scissors, our marker, and our pen. And these are the measurements you need. Let me write them here. You need the back measurements, back measurements, you need the bust measurement, you need the um, shoulder to bust. You need shoulder to waist. You need shoulder to. You need shoulder to hip. Hip or waist to hip. So any of them. Shoulder to your hip line. This is standard. What? This is what you need to draft a basic body pattern you don't need dress length okay and so let's go on these are the measurements you are going to use and the measurements i am using back i'm using my own measurements my back is 16 16 you divide it into two making eight you make it eight my bust is 42 42, I will divide it into four, not two. Get it? 42, I will divide it into four, not two. And so 42 divided by four will be 10.5. 10 10.5. Then you come to the shoulder to bust. My shoulder to bust is 11. And then my shoulder to waist, that is my upper waist, is 17 then my shoulder to hip 26 if i'm considering shoulder to under bust my shoulder to under bust is 15 my shoulder to under bust is 15 okay so this is what you are going to do and then we'll also consider waist measurements waist measurement and my waist is 34 34 will divide it into into 4 and 34 divided by 4 that is 34 divided by 2 will be 17 17 divided by 2 will be 8.5 8.5 and then hip measurement hip measurement to my hip is 44 44 divided by 4 divided by 4 is equal to 11 is equal to 11 in sewing the things you divide into four are your bust your waist and your hip that is what you divide into four apart from that the other some you divide it into two like the back measurements you divide it into two now this is what we are going to do in order to get the amount of fabric you will need in sewing you will take the largest part of the body largest part of the body is what you are going to base on to cut your fabric so when we look at the measurement the largest one or the biggest part of my measurement is 44 
is 44. So when we take 44 divided by 2 is 11. And so we are going to fold our fabric into 11. This is drafting. In drafting, you don't add allowance to it. It is when after your pattern, you are transferring it to the fabric, then you add allowance to it. But you can also decide to, to add allowance to your draft so that when you pick it and you place it on the fabric, you will just cut it straight without considering any allowance because you have all your allowance in the measurement. And so we are going to do it with all the allowance, everything in it. So with 11, we are going to add 3 inches to it, which will make um, 14, 14. And so 14, this is our 14. This is our 14, our 14. Yes, but I'm not going to mark exactly 14. Okay, so I've marked 15 because I would want to show you something later. I've marked 15. Okay. So this is 15. And so it is folded into two. It is folded into two. So the 15 is for half of my body. Half of my body. And half also here. Then the back also half up. That is why we divide the measurement into four. I'm using marker so you will see it well. So this is our start. The line here is our starting point. And so you will measure from there, you will measure from there, you are going to measure your bust measurement. That is shoulder to bust. And my shoulder to bust is 11. My shoulder to bust is 11. But we will add a bit of allowance because we said we are adding allowance everything to it. We will add a bit and so 11, we are going to mark it 11.5. 11.5 that is our bust line 11.5 then we we'll go to our waist my waist shoulder to waist is 17 we'll add half to it the reason being that so the shoulder it will move from 17.5 to 17 so you will not mark exactly 70 if you mark exactly 17 when you saw the shoulder it is going to move from 17 to 16.5 and so we are going to mark 17.5 and then when we come to the hip, which is 26, that place we are not adding any allowance to it. So mark exactly 26. Mark and so we, we, we have joined the lines. And so let me write for you to see. This one is bust point. Bust point. This one is waist, and this one is hip line, hip line. So bust points, waist, hip line. Okay, so we are going to place our measurement on it. Now, let's place your back measurement, and my back measurement is 16. 16 divided by 2, making 8. And so I have it here, 8. And as I said, because you are adding allowance and everything to it, because if you sew and attach a sleeve to it, you add half an inch or you leave it like that. So 8.5, 8.5 for sleeve. Then from there, we will mark our arm hold. My arm hold is 18. 18 divided by 2 will give me 9. Will give me 9. And so I have my 9 here. Usually, another way you can calculate arm hold is your bust divided by 6 plus 1 or 1 1.5. You can also do it this way. That way, then you place it here. Your bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 of I am, I am dividing my arm hole into two. So if you have a client and you want to sew for you don't know the arm hole size of the person, the, the arm hole measurement for the person, just 
divide the bust of the person by what six and add plus 1.5 to it so my armhole is nine and so nine here i'm going to draw the nine out i'm going to draw the nine i'm going to draw it this is my nine i'll mark another nine here and also draw it for my armhole purpose for my armhole purpose so okay so i have my armhole drawn this way this is going to be for the armhole now we'll come to the neck line you will decide the neck width the neck width the standard measurement is 3.5 3.5 for the neck width but i'm going to make it four four for the neck width four inches for the neck width and the neck deep we have front neck and then the back neck so when you are drawing your pattern consider my front neck i am going to make it six i'm going to use six for my front neck then i'll use um three for my back neck three for my back neck that one you have the the choice to decide how deep and how low you want it okay so three for back and six for front okay and so we join the lines join the lines then you will decide the kind of neck shape you want if you are using round fine if you are using square or anything i am going to use round neck shape for this pattern round and so i have round here and i'm going to draw the same round for the back And so, uh, this is back neck, back neck, this is front neck, front neck, okay, then we come to the armhole, because our shoulder is not straight like this, our shoulder slopes a bit, so you are going to reduce the armhole length you are going to mark half you are going to mark one inch from the armhole area then you join it from the shoulder to the armhole from the shoulder to the armhole area from the shoulder to the armhole so this is it after this you are going to divide what you have here and get the middle so eight the middle is four that is what you are going to use for your back for your front um armhole and so you are going to draw the armhole shape you will place your curve here and then draw your arm if you can use your hand fine if not use a curve so a curve here to draw your armhole so this is going to be for back armhole our front armhole will be here so you measure 0 0.25 or you measure yeah 0 0.25 or something like that. yeah 0 0.25 then you leave it this way then you will join from this side to the point you place your curve here from the slope point to the middle point you have drawn okay the middle point you have marked then you place it here you place the curve also here and then you will draw to the armhole area and so you have it this way and so this is your front armhole front 
this is back hope you can see it very well now that we have this we are going to place our measurements on what we have we are going to place our measurement now you come to your bus my bus is 42 42 divided by 4 10.5 so i'm going to mark exactly 10.5 exactly 10.5 as i said if you are making a pattern you don't add allowance but this one will add allowance so we'll add we'll do the exact measurement then after we'll add our allowance so this is 10.5 exactly then my waist is my waist is 34 divided by 5 is 8.5 but i'm going to make it 9.5 because of that 9.5 and so i have 9.5 here 9.5 then i'll come to the hip the hip 44 divided by 4 is going to be 11 so i'll make it exactly 11. now let me join the points for you to see i'm going to join the points So this is it. Now we are going to draw our darts. My dart is nine. Nine, you divide it into two because this is folded into two. And so you divide it into two. And so nine is going to be 4.5. So I'll mark exactly 4.5 here. I'll go to the waistline. I'll mark exactly um, 4.5. Then when it gets to the hip line, you will measure two inches above the hip line. This is two inches. That is where you place your dart. And so I'll mark 4.5 also here. Your dart shouldn't get to exactly your hip. Then you draw a line. You draw a line. You draw a line. So this is it. Then when you come to the waistline, you realize my my waist measurement is 8.5, but I added one to it to make it 9. That one is what we are going to use to draw our darts. And so we'll make it, you put, this is 4, 5, so you, the half, half inch will be in the middle. So you mark half here, you mark half here. Then you join your your darts this is basic so you join your darts and then it comes here too you join it you come here you join this one also so this is a basic that this is basic that there are a lot of that you will learn but we are learning the basic ones first so this is the that now we are going to add our allowance to this if you remember we added three inches the three inches we added one inch is for the that which we've added and the two inches is for allowance and with that, you can ask for allowance. You can decide to add more, depending on you. But with this, I'm adding two inches. I already have the one at the waistline, so I'll not add three. I'll add two. So when you come to the waist, I'll have two inches here. The bust measurement two. I'll have two inches here, and then the hip line two. I will have two inches here. Then I'll join the points so that is my allowance you can you usually when we are doing a basic body pattern we don't add allowance because when you finish you can just 
when you put it on the fabric you can add allowance on the fabric but i decided to add to teach you something now when we finish we are going to measure our armhole our armhole our armhole and so you put it at the front armhole my armhole is 18 divided by 2 will be 9 but i will not mark exactly 9 because if i'm sewing the dress i will hold up here i will sew the shoulder by half inches so now i will add half inch to it we're making it nine and half for allow in order to be able to sew the the shoulder so this is my nine and a half but i'll not mark exactly nine and a half there i have to in case maybe i will add a sleeve to the dress when you mark it exactly nine and a half and you add the sleeve it is going to be very tight. It will reduce the armhole measurement. So you add nine and a half, you add one to eight, making ten and a half. So this is ten and a half. At the end of the day, you are you need extra allowance for in case maybe it's too tight or it's too this, you want to cut it. You can add either one or you add one and a half. I'm going to add one and a half to eight. So it's going to be 12. So this is where I'm going to cut it. Allowance, everything is on top. Then I will join this. I will join this. This. Now when we look at this, when I mark, if I know allowance, I'm going to mark exactly what 10.5. So this is 10.5. That is... 9.5 for the exact thing and 10.5 for if I am adding a sleeve. If not, we'll mark straight. You can decide to mark straight. Then I'm going to add this also to the exact bus measurement. If not, we can decide to mark it straight like this for the armhole. If you are not adding any allowance, you can decide to mark it straight this way. Then after, when you place it on the fabric, you would add your other allowances to it. But this is what we have done. And so this is um, for the front part of the dress. And it's folded into two. It's folded into two. Usually when we are drawing a pattern, we use only half. This part, we use only one. So that when we, are, when we place it on the fabric, you can fold the fabric into two and place it and cut. But because you're a beginner, and I want you to understand, that is why I made it two. So that one after and I open it, you understand what I mean. We are not going to cut it now. We are going to do the back measurement to The back measurement and the front is the same. The difference is the zip allowance you will add and the dart where the dart is starting from so take another brown paper and fold it to 17 17 because we have added two inches to it and that two inches is for our zip allowance our zip allowance so we are going to make it 17 our zip allowance so, so this is okay the two inches is for zip allowance I usually prefer 2 inches or 1.5. Some make their zip allowance 1. Fine, but if 1, some also make it more than 2. So we are going to mark our 2 here, our 2 inches here. 2 for the zip allowance, 2, 2, and 2. Have it this way. We are going to place the front one on it. We place the front one on it. It should be on the line of this where the zip allowance line is. It should be on that line, exactly on that line. So this is our zip allowance. Then you can pin it because you're a beginner. Don't think, oh, you can do this without pinning. Then I'm going to teach you how to get the back that. The back that. The back that, unlike the front that, where it starts from the bust line, the back that doesn't start from the bust line. It starts from an inch before the upper bust line. So 
when I measure my upper bust from shoulder to the upper bust is eight. It's eight. So I'll just use reduce it by one inch and that will be seven. Seven but for allowance sake, instead of marking seven, exact seven, I'll mark eight. And so this is eight for back measurement eight back that this is eight for back that but we are not going to draw the back that here we are going to trace it and get it at the back of the paper and then use it for our measurement so this is what i usually do if i don't want to stress myself this is what i do i'll use the pin to make a hole and draw it this way so i have my hole here then I'll just take it. Then I know that I'm going to trace the lines also. I know this is the waist point. I'll trace that one too. I'll, I'll trace it. Make sure everything is on the same line. Then this is where the hip that stops. I'll pin it and also create a hole there to get everything the same then after i'll just shift this put it aside and use my marker to trace the point so this is it this is it and this is it do you get it okay so i will draw the line from here Then I'll, I'll draw the waistline. I'll draw the waistline exactly on the point. Make sure your ruler is straight. I'll draw it. Then this is the where the dart will stop. I'll draw this one too. And when we come here, we we'll measure the that point that is half 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 then we'll join so we have our back that when we are done like this we'll place front one on it again and then we'll do our cutting We'll do our cutting. We will pin it and cut together. Okay, so I think this is okay. Few one, few pinning is okay. So we are going to cut. We'll first cut the back neck. We'll first cut. Don't make a mistake and cut the front neck. That is why when you are doing it, label it. Label it so that you know what you are doing. You don't end up cutting it. So first cut the back neck. Okay, so cut the back neck. Then we'll cut the shoulder slope. Now when you get to the armhole, we'll cut the back armhole. We are not going to cut the front. It's for front, it's not for back. So don't make a mistake. So we'll cut the back armhole. So we'll stop here. And we are cutting through the allowance. We are cutting through the allowance. So let me say something small here. When you get to the hip line, if you want to add allowance, you can add two inches allowance to it. Where if you are making it straight at top, two inches to it, where it will be an allowance where you will fold in and it will be exactly on this point. So you can add two inches allowance here. If 
you are using this to cut your fabric without anything let me add the two inches for you to understand what i mean and so we have two inches here and so you cut it from here from the allowance point see let me open for you to see the results that's why because i want to open that is why i folded it into two so you understand so let's talk this way everything so if i am using this to cut a fabric i will not add any allowance to it because i have all my allowance on it everything in there so i'll just place it on the fabric and cut without adding allowance to the fabric so this is it and if i'm using this all that i need to do is when i fold this this way i'll just trace the dots here at the back here and get the same dot also here and that will be oh and this is the back measurement and so with the back we usually divide it into two and so before you divide pin it your zip you get it your zip we are going to cut the front neckline you are cutting only the front you are not adding it to the back you are cutting the front neckline Then we cut the front arm hole. The front arm hole. So this is it. This is for the front. This is the back arm hole. And the front is deep. So that's how we cut it. Now, let me show you something. If you are making a pattern without allowance, a pattern without allowance, and you're using only one side for the pattern, you're using only one side for the pattern, you will cut the allowance off. And you cut this one too. It will end at the hip line. You cut the allowance off. Okay. So we are cutting the allowance off. making actual pattern we will just use half of the body and this is will be the end result and when it comes to the back part you not add zip allowance to it the back line will not add zip allowance to it so you cut you cut the zip allowance from there Pattern draft, the drafting. This is the actual thing you do without any allowance, no allowance. You just draft it this way. This is the back, and this is the front, back and front. So you have it this way. So you can have this pattern there. So when you have a pattern drawn like this, and you want to sew a dress, maybe you want to sew a long dress or a short dress. A, a top or shirt you just pick the pattern this way and then you fold your fabric so i'm just using it to teach you i'm not cutting and so if you fold your fabric let's say i folded my fabric with allowance everything so i'll just place the pattern on it this way i'll just place the pattern on it and then i'll pin it I'll pin, you see, I've folded the fabric into two. 
So I'll pin it here. Okay, then I'll just add my allowance to it. So I'll come here, add two inches, then I'll mark it. I'll add two inches here, I'll mark it. I'll add two inches here, I'll mark it. Then I'll draw the shape through. Then I'll not add any allowance here. Then when we come here, this point, if it's a top that I'm sewing in, then I'm going to add maybe two inches for folding and sewing allowance, everything. So that after I'll get exactly the shape I want. If it's a straight dress, maybe I'm sewing a, a straight dress to my knee level. Then from here, the hip line, I'm going to add, I will just, I can just place my tape measure from shoulder. My dress length is 40. And so I can just place it here and make it 40 plus one as allowance. And then mark it to the two inches allowance. I will just mark it and cut it through. Use the two inches allowance, draw the shape and meet it here and just cut it through. If I mark the line and I want maybe a pencil dress, after drawing this to the two inches allowance added to this, I will just decide to come in like this and then reduce, maybe reduce it by maybe two how fitted outfit I want it. I'll just reduce it by two or three and then I'll cut it, draw the shape and cut it. So that is why this one is basic pattern and that is basically our basic pattern. Thanks so much my dear for watching today's video and being part of the lesson. What have you learned from today's lesson? Please comment let me know. Practice this and take a picture of it. Send it to my page Max Fashion Line. Max Fashion Line or Ajoaka on Facebook and then we look at it. If there are corrections you need, I will assist you in that. Please share the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks and God richly bless you. Bye-bye.